It is the case that has stunned Boston. Accused Craigslist killer Philip Markoff appeared in court on Tuesday and is being held without bail this morning. CBS News correspondent Daniel Sieber joins us with details. Daniel, good morning. Good morning, Julie. The big question at this point is why did he do it? One possible motive emerging this morning is gambling debts. As prosecutors say, the 23-year-old medical student targeted women who advertise massage services on Craigslist and in one case shot Julissa Brisman to death. This was a brutal, vicious crime, uh, savage, and it shows that Philip Markov uh, is a man who's willing to take advantage of women, to hurt them, to beat them, to rob them. Police say they found a semi-automatic weapon, duct tape, and plastic restraints in Markov's apartment, described by prosecutors as critical, powerful evidence. But it was Markov's routine use of technology that led police to the second-year med student. This guy left himself uh, open. He left uh, electronic fingerprint. Investigators used emails Markov sent to track him down and tie him to Brisbane. He was arrested as he drove with his fiance to Foxwoods Casino. Jeremy Gillis says he spent the night in jail with Markov. He was like biting his nails and stuff, and after that he got pretty quiet. He didn't say much after that. Markov's parents and future in-laws have publicly remained quiet. None showed up in court. But his fiance announced in emails that she's sticking by him. Meanwhile, Markov remains defiant. He's pleaded not guilty. He is not guilty. A former teacher describes Markov as a good kid. Friends and neighbors who knew him are stunned by the charges. Julie? CBS's Daniel Seberg in Boston. Thanks, Daniel. Joining us from Boston is Dan Conley, the district attorney of Suffolk County. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Julie. What do you believe was the motive in this case? Our belief right now is that uh, Philip Markov was motivated by robbery. Um, we are exploring and not foreclosing any other possible motives. But at this time, we're, our theory of the case is that he uh, was preying upon young women who were advertising their services on Craigslist for robbery. But why? I mean, there are reports that he had a gambling debt. Is that uh, something you guys are looking into and a valid motive? Well, I think that's uh, something that uh, at this point uh, we're looking at. But uh, at this point, again, we continue to believe that uh, his focus was robbery. What motivated his robbery? Why he was robbing women? Uh, could gambling have been a, an issue? We'll, we'll look at that. But uh, right now, robbery was the motive. Can you describe who you think you're dealing with in Philip Markoff? Well, we're, we're dealing with somebody who uh, is uh, fairly clever, uh, certainly made efforts to, uh, to uh, hide himself from authorities by creating uh, email addresses to contact these young women, for example, um, and also choosing women who were vulnerable, women who were perhaps living on life's margins, who uh, perhaps would not contact authorities if they were victimized. Uh, and these are the this is the type of individual we're dealing with, someone who's willing to abuse women, to dominate them, to hurt them, to get what he wants. So how did investigators initially zero in on him? How did you guys track him down? We were able to track him down by tracing uh, his email contacts uh, with uh, one of our victims. Uh, by doing so, we were able to identify the internet provider source uh, to his building here in Boston area in Quincy, Massachusetts. And as a result of that, the police were able to put his property under surveillance. Bear in mind that we had some fairly good surveillance photos from both crime scenes. Both hotels where these incidents occurred had fairly good equipment. We had a good picture of the individual we were looking for. And sure enough, uh, Philip Markov was seen coming and going from that Quincy address. And how many others do you believe might be out there that could be victims of Philip Markov? It's very hard to say. There could be no other victims, but there is a possibility that there are others out there. So in my public comments over the last couple of days, I've asked anyone who's been contacted by Philip Markov, perhaps was even uh, approached in a hotel and robbed by Philip Markov, to please let us know. Uh, I'm sure that these young women, uh, if there are any others, would be worried about uh, any possible prosecution on our end. We're not concerned about prosecuting uh, these young women for offering masseuse services or perhaps even other services uh, in hotels. Good to know. Suffolk County DA, Dan Conley, thank you. Thanks, Julie.